Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install DaVinci Resolve 17. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the web browser. And we're just going to type into Google search here, DaVinci Resolve. So type in DaVinci Resolve and we'll go to the DaVinci Resolve website. It does say DaVinci Resolve 16 here at the moment, but when we click on the actual website and go to it, it will say DaVinci Resolve 17. So it will say 17 up here. We're going to scroll down and you should read a little bit of this information and try and understand what this software is about. It's all about video editing, right? It's very, very powerful video editing software. And there's a free version and a paid version. So if we just skip all the way past this and get down towards the bottom, uh, we'll get to this section here and uh, or even here. And you can see there is DaVinci Resolve free and there's a paid version here. So we're going to download the free version. It can be used for um, video editing, basically. That's what I mean. You can do motion graphics and color correction and audio uh, post-production, stuff like that. But you can also install it on Mac, Windows, and Linux. So we'll click download here. And uh, it says DaVinci Resolve 17 Beta. So we've got the three options here to which version we want to download. I'm going to select Windows here. It's going to ask me to fill in all the details. Okay, so I filled in all the information. You can see that on the screen here. I'm just going to click register and download. And I'm going to click this button here to start downloading, or it should really start downloading automatically. Now it's 2.2 gig, so I've got quite, quite a fast internet connection. But I'm going to pause this video and just wait for that to download, and then we can start in the installation process. Okay, so it took a few minutes for the software to fully download. I'm just going to drag this screen to the side and open up this folder on my desktop. Let's go ahead and drag and drop this zip file into this folder. Okay, we should right click and extract the zip file. Now we can go ahead and delete this zip file. We don't need it anymore. Inside this folder, we should find the installation file here, the executable. I'm just going to double click that to start the installation process. Okay, so there's a few options here for us to install and it's just asking us what do we want to install. I'm just going to leave it as the default, the default settings. I'm going to click the install button here. Okay, let's go ahead and click the next button here. And we'll agree to the terms and click next. And then we're just going to install it on our C drive program files in the default directory. And we'll click next and then we'll click install. And let's just wait for that to finish. Okay, the installation is complete, so we can click the finish button. Okay, so on my desktop, you can see that we've got the project server here and we've got DaVinci Resolve here. And we should also see that in our start menu here, right? Which is DaVinci Resolve. We should also see it inside a folder here. It should be underneath Black Magic, and it will be here, DaVinci Resolve. So let's just go ahead and double click on the application and make sure that we can see everything working correctly. Okay, let's go ahead and test DaVinci Resolve, make sure everything is working as expected. So let's click on new project down here, new project. And we'll just give this project a name. Let's just call it a test project. And we'll click create. Let's minimize this for a second and open up this folder. And inside this folder, we should see these video clips that I've just downloaded, some example clips for us to work with, just to demonstrate or just have a quick demo to make sure everything is working correctly. So let's go ahead and open up DaVinci Resolve and we'll go over to the media pool here, media pool down here, and we'll drag and drop these video clips into the media pool. Um, I'm not going to change the frame, I'm just going to leave it as um, just don't change. And we see all the clips load up here and you can just move your mouse over a clip and then you know you can just scrub through them basically on these little thumbnails you can click on it and then you can scrub through up here as well across the clip you can then go to the cut tool and you can drag in a particular clip and you can start editing and cutting it so if you want to cut sequences and cut your content this is what the cutting section is all about and then you've got the editing section to sequence your content so here you can see the content here you may want to cut it before but you can actually cut it in here as well and we'll just drag and drop a video clip onto the timeline let's take uh, in fact this very first one and we drag and drop it onto the timeline and then you've got your your preview window here and then you've got your timeline window here right so we can drag across the timeline here with our mouse and using the cursor here and we can see it updating here we can click play and we can see it's all working here right and you can just add more clips onto the end so we could take our second clip and drag and drop that afterwards and then we've got our two clips side by side and then we can run whatever transition we may want to run on those content on that content then you've got fusion here fusion is really a bit out of the scope 
Um, but I'll be working with Fusion and show you some more examples of how to use Fusion to do special effects and stuff like that. And you've got your color correction down here. So if you want to click on a clip, you can just start to change the gain and the color uh, corrections in here. So I'll leave you to go and experiment with that changing color correction it's, it's a little bit complex to explain in such a small tutorial the idea here was to get you uh, to install the software and make sure it's all operating quickly you got Fairlight here and this is all about audio so managing your audio and your audio levels uh, on your audio tracks and then you've got delivery and this is where you're going to go and export and queue your jobs to export out for maybe uh, your youtube channel but you can see here's some presets up here already done for you right so most important is get your content into the media pool the content then go into the editor sequence your content add your transitions go into fusion maybe add some particles or special effects whatever you want to do go into the color correction you can go ahead and start correcting the color um, on these particular pictures right so you can dark darken things down bring more contrast to the image it looks quite looks quite good this sort of contrast here and then you can go over to fairlight play around with your audio and then you can finally deliver your project and you'll have your project completed um accordingly so let's go ahead and minimize this let's close this folder that's how you go about installing davinci resolve 17 the free version this is currently a beta version but it's worth installing to get yourself familiarized with this software and then when the official davinci resolve stable version gets released this one seems pretty stable to me but when the official one gets released you can go go ahead and upgrade right so what you want to do is go to uh, DaVinci Resolve and then go to DaVinci Resolve here and click check for updates to see if there's any new updates for this particular version okay let's go ahead and minimize this that's the end of this tutorial hope you hope you find it useful uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and go and check out all of my content I've got over 600 tutorials listed on my YouTube channel on a wide range of subjects from video editing to graphic design to 3d animation I do a lot of um, Lots and lots of different tutorials, yeah. There's just, just so much for you to go and learn from there. So hopefully you go and check that out and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and also write a little comment in the uh, description. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial. I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.